Good morning. Right, um, I'm trying a different mount again on my window. It's been a few weeks since I've got an upload. Um, I've been too busy to do things and things have just happened where I haven't been able to get videos. Um, so mainly it's been the software, my editing stuff. Um, I've got one lap for, laptop that does editing uh, that's powerful enough for that and then I've got another that I use as my everyday thing and um, you know it's 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 messy uh, so I've upgraded myself to a, a new laptop uh, that can do both it's um, a Surface Book 2 um, they've been out for a while now but they're still very powerful and uh, quite good so um, Hopefully that will help me. When I used to do a lot of uh, video editing, I had a MacBook Air, so it was um, not necessarily powerful, but geared up for uh, multimedia content and um, content creation, as uh, people are calling it these days. And um, yeah, it was a lot easier. You know, I could sit on the sofa and edit. Um, videos whereas this laptop that I got um, is a great honking thing and uh, you don't always want it to use that as your everyday driver so um, anyway um, hopefully this will um, free up um, sort of time between you know like having laptops upstairs and downstairs and all that kind of stuff um, and it'll help with editing and everything like that and it'll make it a bit more easier it's um, it, it feels like a chore sometimes when you're editing anyway that's enough of me rambling about that because um, I'm sure everyone's uh, everyone that does content like this is uh, is um, Everyone that does content like this edits and does their own thing, unless they're running a bigger business. They've got people to do it for them. Um, right, so today I'm uh, going to do my check. So every Friday I check um, holiday cottages uh, for uh, everything really. Uh, everything on the outside to make sure that they look okay uh, uh, so what I'll do is I'll take you around one of the cottages um, that has been done uh, cleaned and everything uh, and you can see or you'll be able to see kind of a uh, classic holiday cottage in the lakes um, Hello there. Right, in typical hotel and catering fashion, um, things have changed. Uh, it was going to be a nice quiet day, just looking around holiday cottages, making sure it's all right. Uh, two things, the weather's changed, it's raining now. Um, I don't know how wide, because it's positioning, I'm just trying out. So I don't know how wide the camera is. Um, and uh, so what we've done now is, uh, uh, we're going down to the holiday cottage, they're still, still doing the checks um, uh, because of the rain I um, won't be able to do the sort of outside checks that I normally do, um, sweeping up and things like that. Um, and uh, what I'm doing now is the cleaner has failed to turn up. Um, now if this is probably, if anyone's coming to the lakes and wants a job, uh, there's always uh, cleaning jobs, and um, it's it's a it's a, um, a consistent work to be in. Um, there's always um, 
looking for people looking for jobs to do with cleaning and um, again uh, where uh, you know pe people tend to rely on a cleaner for one you know one cleaner per cottage because uh, you know they get cleaned once a week and uh, it really only takes one person to do it and manage it. Things happen, um, people go ill, uh, stuff like that. So if one cleaner goes, um, this person who manages a holiday cottage doesn't necessarily know other cleaners that can just jump and help. Um, so um, thing called cover cleans and stuff like that. Um, where you, you're a cleaning firm and you just basically go out and cover um, cottages. Um, now it's every cottage owner has their own particulars about cleaning and the same with maintenance um, and uh, you know because they're run by so many different people there's not really one uh, although there's big holiday cottage companies uh, they're all are mostly owned by different people um, so you know people have different priorities for different cottages um, different ways of I mean you make a bed you make a bed looks neat and that's fine um, but you know there, there could be like some people might like to leave a bottle of wine um, uh, you know if, if they say you know you pay extra and, and the, the cover cleaner doesn't do that then you know it, so it's always good to be you know <coughs> if you're if you're going to do cover cleans to be aware of extras you know it's not just turning up and tidying up um, it's always about um, communication with the owner or the, or the holiday company of um, the extra bits and pieces and that goes with maintenance as well um, you never tend to, more with maintenance, you tend not to, it's not a, it, hopefully it's not a weekly thing. Uh, like I say, I do have these weekly checks, but that's because uh, it's covered, they have hotels as well. So if nothing needs done at the, the holiday cottages, I've got work elsewhere. Um, right, in typical hotel and catering fashion, uh, I couldn't uh, film checks and stuff I was doing uh, the owner was there and uh, you know uh, it's not it's not always right to um, film around people and uh, you know some people don't like to be on film on, on the internet so um, we're back in the van again uh, so I did my checks and uh, found a couple of things just a couple of loose screws in handles and things like that um, nothing true dramatic um, but now uh, you could probably see that it's raining uh, so we're going up to that we're going up to that hotel now to have a look at this leak and again because uh, of the rain and stuff uh, I can't really it's not a place to be on a ladder um, with a GoPro unless it's on the head um, and uh, I'm still not sort of entirely comfortable with uh, with the owners and me filming uh, things that are wrong with their hotels and things like that. Um, now when I first died I was like yay I can film everything now I'm not I'm not working in a nuclear place um, so you know but then you've got to respect people's uh, you know businesses I can't just so sort of go back to the same hotel I can't go to a hotel and show everything that's wrong with it you know it's, it's not good it's not a good selling point for the company uh, it's suppose it's good in a way uh, to say that you know they are, they do look at things and fix things um, but again it's not always good to say everything's broken in this hotel or holiday cottage that's not what I'm about um, I like to put positive uh, 
feed on everything and uh, it's more about my business rather than their businesses. So uh, it looks like it's just a, another van vlog, another me talking to the uh, camera, um, not being able to show you much. Um, which is a shame really because the weather's been fantastic the past three or four weeks, maybe three weeks, but I've never been, have been in that position to uh, do any filming. Um, so I'm going to make a, more of an effort now, and now I've got the uh, hardware to do it. Okay.